Hey y'all, join me today as I show you how to make some amazing homemade cowboy fries. If you love french fries and sausage gravy, this is for you. To begin, you'll want to start with some good quality sausage. We like Swaggerty sausage because it has more of that authentic sausage taste. And so to begin, you're going to use four sausage patties and you're going to break up the sausage patties in a skillet. And I've got my skillet on medium heat. While the sausage continues to cook, I'm going to take some frozen fries and I'm gonna put them in the air fryer and cook them for 30 minutes. So while the french fries are cooking, I'm gonna come back to my sausage. I've been letting it cook on medium heat for quite a few minutes and it has gotten nice and brown and there's actually a little crust on the sausage, which I really enjoy. After the sausage is done, I'm going to add four tablespoons of flour, but I'm just gonna start with two tablespoons and get that all mixed in before I add the other two tablespoons. After you add the last two tablespoons, you want to give it a good stir because you want to get the sausage coated in the flour and then you're going to let it cook for a few more minutes just to cook that flour because you don't want a floury taste. Once that's done, you're going to add a mixture of milk and chicken broth and I just took a regular sized cup and filled it halfway with milk, halfway with chicken broth, and now I'm just going to mix it in. You want to mix in the chicken broth and the milk slowly and just keep adding a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency. The more liquid you add, the thinner your gravy will be. The less liquid you add, the thicker your gravy will be. Next, you will add salt and pepper to taste. I recommend going easy on the salt because the chicken broth already has salt in it. Give everything a good stir. Now that my french fries are done, I'm gonna measure out three and a half ounces of fries. That's because I'm watching my calories, y'all, but even though I'm watching my calories, I still like to eat good. Next, I'm gonna season my fries with some Slappy Mama. This has red pepper, black pepper, salt, and garlic. Now for the showstopper. I'm going to add 100 grams of my homemade sausage gravy, and I'm just gonna spoon it right on top. Now my gravy did come out thinner than I would have liked, but my daughter wanted to add the rest of the milk and chicken broth to the gravy, so, you know, why not? I can thicken the gravy up later if needed. Now to top it off, I'm gonna add 15 grams of this reduced fat Mexican cheese blend. And 
that's it, y'all. That's how you make cowboy fries. I hope you give it a try. And y'all, this is my new addiction. So I will be making this several more times. Thanks, y'all. See ya.